talk about my top 10 most valuable or rare Sega Genesis games in no particular order. We'll start off with the infamous Musha, getting very pricey nowadays, but one of the best shooters on the console. I only have a repro case and artwork with an original cartridge. Again, one of the best shooters on the console, in my opinion. But is it worth the price point nowadays? I'll let you be the judge. And a cartridge copy alone of Musha currently goes for about $325 Canadian or $250 American. Next we have Crusader of Senti, referred to as a Zelda clone, typically. I managed to find the original instructions, an amazing condition cartridge, which I have checked and is authentic, and then just some printed artwork that doesn't look too great, but it works. I've had a lot of fun with this game so far, only played it for a couple hours, definitely one that I want to play through, and probably the best looking and playing of its kind on the Genesis. And a cartridge copy of Crusader of Senti with the instructions goes for about $450 currently Canadian or about $325 American. Next we have Splatterhouse 3. This game's great, not the best looking copy and only a cartridge. I'm also missing Splatterhouse 2. It's like one of the 13 games I still don't have. It's a North American Genesis list. Gameplay's fairly simple, but definitely ramps up. And the design of the whole game, especially the enemies, has an awesome gruesome style. A cartridge copy of Splatterhouse 3 goes for about $100 Canadian nowadays, or about $75 American. Next up we have Troubleshooter, a one or two player shoot 'em up featuring girl characters. One of my favorite shooters on the console. Pretty hard to find complete. I only have the case and the cartridge, which have both seen better days, but I did to preserve them. The case itself had plenty of tape on the artwork. If you haven't played this one and you're into this style of game, I would highly recommend it, especially due to the fact that it is co-op. A copy of Troubleshooter in this condition goes for about $150 Canadian or $100 American. Next up we have the Punisher. I have a nearly complete copy aside from the free skull tattoo. Cartridge and the artwork are in really nice condition. But I love the variation in gameplay from the beat em up sections to the shooting sections. Definitely check it out if you get a chance and you can pick it up for a good price. Complete copy of Punisher goes for about $250 Canadian or about $200 American.
Next, we have the legendary Action 52. 52 very broken titles. I would love to try to get through this sometime, if it's even possible. Complete copy comes with the original cardboard box, instructions, cartridge, and the insert. Cartridge has seen much better days. Looks like it's been in the window for about 20 years, but it works. I have a playlist showcasing every single game on this cartridge if you want to check it out. I'll leave the link in the description for the first video. Honestly, if you can find this for a decent price, grab it though, just for a laugh or a challenge if you really want to try to beat it. A complete copy of Action 52 goes for about 125 Canadian or $100 American. Next up we have Gaieris, probably in my top 3 shooters on the console. This copy came from a rental store but is surprisingly very complete with the poster and the advertisements. This game's a great challenge with an awesome soundtrack. If you're into the game, check it out. Getting pretty expensive though. A complete copy of Gaieris will go for about 150 Canadian or 1 American. Next we have Zero the Kamikaze Squirrel. I had never heard about this game until I saw it at a local game store. This game's expensive and it seems like it's climbing every time I check it out. The gameplay is good. I haven't played enough of it to say if it's great or not. Reminds me of like Sonic the Hedgehog meets Arrow the Acrobat. The price that it sells for lately, I'm not sure if it's worth picking up though. But let me know. A cartridge copy of Zero the Kamikaze Squirrel goes for $90 Canadian or $65 American. Next up we have Sparkster. This was one of the first fairly collectible Genesis games I picked up years ago now. No instructions, but the artwork is pretty nice. And the cartridge is awesome. This is the sequel to Rocket Knight Adventures, one of the best games on the Genesis console. This one's slightly different in gameplay and graphics and animation department, but overall, it's great. If you can find it for cheap, pick it up. Sparkster goes for about 120 Canadian in the box or about $100 American. Before we get to number 10, I'd like to show you several mentions. In the middle we have Vector Man 1 and 2 sealed. To the left of that we have the Genesis 6 pack in the cardboard box sealed. And then on the right side we have Earthworm Jim 2 complete in the card. I've been seeing a trend of certain cardboard box copies or variations going for a lot more. That's kind of why I wanted to show you Earthworm Jim in particular. I'm not sure I would pay that much more just for a variation or an early print, but that's completely up to you, and I'd like to hear what you have to say on that subject. I don't know prices, but I do know that all of these games are fairly expensive, and if you want to, check out VGPC.com, which is the website that I used to check out all the prices in this video. 
And finally, at number 10, we have Castlevania Bloodlines. I haven't played a ton of Castlevania, but I'm still very glad that the Genesis got because it's probably the best in the series during this era. I only have a boxed copy with the cartridge. The artwork's nice, as is the cartridge. This is personally one of my favorite games on the console. I would say in the top three as far as looks, sound, and gameplay. If you can find it cheap, definitely grab it, but it does go for a pretty penny nowadays. And that concludes my top 10 most valuable or rare Genesis games that I personally own. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching. If you like what you see here on Retro Sunday, consider hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know every time that I upload. And we'll see you soon. Have a good night.